Well, now that I've calmed down a bit after that boss fight, let's uh, let's take a look around here and see what we've got. Oh, I thought I thought that might have been a thing. It looks important anyway. So um, I'm assuming that where I have to go next is up these stairs. Nothing I can see around here. I don't actually remember when I got this key, but I just found it in my inventory. And I was like, when did I get that? And where do I use it? Well, obviously, now. But let's see what this new area has in store for me. I don't want to rush in, just in case there's something around here. It's kind of hard to see. Mm, no, it's all just detritus. All right, up this ladder then. Oh, still nothing around here, but this is very well furnished, I must say. Is that a thing? The Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. Okay then. Um, I will try and keep that in mind. Nope. Not a mimic. Never hurts to be too careful. Um, okay. Perhaps that's something I'll need. Very ominous. Ooh, a checkpoint. I'll take that. Now then, I didn't really want to break the tension of that cinematic, so now that we are out in here, let's see what we've got. I was just thinking, in fact, um, earlier before I started doing this video, so that oh, it's closed. But uh, um, the guy who I found before I fought. Um, that looks like an enemy. Yeah, it is. The guy who I mentioned before I fought the boss, who, like, drops bloodstone shards everywhere. I thought, if I really needed to, I could just kill him a bunch of times and, like, farm bloodstone shards off him. If I needed to get, like, better with my weapons or anything. Okay, these guys seem tough, but I reckon I can stagger them with my strong attack. Nope. Their poise is too high. Perhaps if I charge it. Nope, still too high. But I've got him on the ropes, so um, I just heal myself. I don't want to risk too much. Oh god, what is going on today? Okay. Oh good, I need bullets. Hmm. Blue elixir. Um, I want to see what that does. Liquid medicine that makes still bodies undetectable. So, is that some kind of, like, multiplayer item, maybe? I'm not sure. Let's see what this is, though. Blood vials, yes. This looks like somewhere important. Enemies and dogs surrounding the area. I best get my whip out. Okay, let's take this guy first, if I can. Nope. Well, that's the stealth approach gone. What I wonder is... Well, I don't know if this is like an actual thing, but... I wonder if the amount of damage you do with your attacks determines the amount of health that you recover with the regain system, because whilst I haven't noticed it, even if it's not an actual feature, it would be pretty nice, because 
sometimes you like if you're doing a strong attack for instance obviously you can't attack as quickly so if you recover the same amount of health no matter what attacks you use then you would recover less health using those sorts of things anyway let's see what's through here uh, I should probably keep an eye out for these notes is that oh that's a ghost of somebody or is yeah okay there's a guy there what does this I can't there we go um okay it doesn't look like he's seen me could I sneak up on him not exactly but he's still dead madman's knowledge that's more of the uh insight stuff this looks like a fake wall and yet it's not a fake wall which is misleading but let's just go back and see where we are let's try going around the cathedral then oh there's a guy oh jesus and he's got a rifle uh oh right i gotta keep on my toes so that guy with the rifle can't get any shots on me all right come on i'll have you nice more bullets which is always welcome okay can i get through here perhaps this leads to the top area oh wow i really can't see um let's try going this way that's uh i'll i'll turn that lever later in case something jumps out at me more of this madman knowledge stuff i kind of realized what it does though because it said that madman's knowledge gives you insight which I'm not entirely sure of the nature of it but I'm pretty sure that you need insight to like um, like summon other people to help you with boss fights or leave some sort of sign down so that you can be summoned but it's used for like cooperation sort of thing at least I'm pretty sure this looks a bit more inviting okay um, is there anyone around here? This guy's not an enemy. Maybe I can talk to him. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? That I am. Right. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred, protege of Master Ligarius, hunter of vile bloods. So, what's vile bloods? That sounds sick. Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? Um, yeah, sure. Oh, very good. Very good. So is this guy just Bloodborne Solaire? This, to celebrate our acquaintance. Fire paper and prey. Hunting is a sacred practice. Is that like miracles or something? Blood guide your way. Okay, let's do a bit of investigating here. Coarse rubbing paper that applies fire to weapons when rubbed. Ah, so that's must be like um charcoal pine resin then but it doesn't look like there's anything else around here so let's go back down to the cathedral floor and see where that coffin leads maybe i'll leave the coffin area for a bit that stairwell looks too deep and imposing for my liking and i want to see what else is around here before i go charging to my death what's up here oh there go the bells, and I can hear something. Holy crap. Um, I'm not going to mess with this guy. Or, I'll try not to. Good. Bloodstone shards. But it looks like there's a lever next to him. But what for, is the question. Okay, he's moving away. Um, alright, let's see what this does. Well, at least he can't get me. Oh, there's a big guy. And some of those, like, crow creatures from earlier. Oh, there's another big guy. I seem to be going, like it further out into the city at least this is my sort of impression of it uh oh 
I didn't w want to get this guy's attention, but I guess I'm going to have to kill him. Nope. Wrong timing. I want to get a visceral attack on him. There we are. As I feel regular conflict would be too risky. Besides, I have the bullets for it. Okay, that guy's not going to let me sneak up on him without a fight, so let's see if I can just take him out with my whip. There we are. I'll pick up that item later. Now let's see if I can get the jump on this guy. Alright. There we go. Now to finish off these birds. I'm doing pretty well today, I must say. Oh, there's a thing. What is this thing? A monocular. Is that like binoculars from Dark Souls, maybe? Yes, it is. Oh, it is as well. You don't want to be staring into the sun with that thing. Can I... How do I get out of this? Um. Oh, God. Um. Give me a sec. I'm a bit stuck. There we are. Turns out I just had to use it again. What's down in this little crevice here? If there's anything. Um. No thanks. What about this item here? Surely that's got to be useful. No, please. Thank you. Oh, yes. More bloodstone shards. Damn it. I... Ugh. I'm trying to heal myself and I keep pressing the wrong button. Um, now then. Let's just... Let's take a minute to study my surroundings. I think... Um... Alright, this guy's got a bead on me. Perhaps. Hmm. Either he's gone invisible, or he's just disappeared like those crystal chameleons in Dark Souls. But, let's see if I can get the jump on this guy. No! I may have dug myself into a bit of a hole here. Good God. Um, okay. He seems... Okay, he's quite slow, so that's good. Wait until he... Does... Ah, uh, wrong time. Okay. Now. And it's quite odd that I can just run through his wrecking ball, but oh well. Oh, he's trying to combo again. Haha! All of that for a single bloodstone shard. That was not worth it. Oh, five bloodstone shards. So, that must be what he was guarding. Okay, now I guess it's worth it. What could be down the spiralling staircase? This looks ominous. Uh, um, I don't particularly want to try and smash any of these because they look like they do something. Okay. Um, hang on, what did that say? No mimic, is it? It is not a mimic. There's nothing gonna appear from behind. That door's closed. But let's keep an eye on Ozzy, see if anything's gonna appear from behind me. I'll have to see what that gem does. In fact, I'll look at it now. This blood gemstone I've found. I'm guessing that there are more of these I can find, and they add, like, different effects to weapons with the right slots on them, as that one that I found increases my attack by 1.1% and makes my health recover very slowly. I guess that was interesting to find. Let's see... Where else we can go? I guess I'll have to go back to that giant guy blocking the... Well, next to the gate from before. But I've at least killed one of those types of enemies now. So, perhaps I can fight him. Okay, he's at the top of the stairs. Um, let's go somewhere else. Oh, hidden item. Yo, top hat. I want to put that top hat on. 
Admittedly, this top hat doesn't offer very high defense, but I might keep it on for swag. Whoa! Okay then, um, that was not nice. Okay, that's doing a bit more damage than when I threw the Molotovs at the big guy. Ah, there we go. Pretty simple. I wasn't expecting him to just come out of nowhere like that. Okay, we got a bunch of bird creatures. They're guarding something. Well, I guess I'll take them down. I want your loot. No, damn it. These guys are fast. It's the fact that I automatically go to press square to heal myself because of the rest of the Souls games. And I have to stop for a minute and think, no, it's triangle to heal myself, not square. Which is really confusing. Oh, there's another guy. Um, I'll just th throw my last Molotov at him. Wow, he's not budging. Um, right, strong attack. There we are, that'll finish him. Okay, whoa! Damn it, they surprised me again. Nope. It's triangle, not... God damn it, okay. Um, let's see what I can do about this guy. That's not really going to stun him, but it does a lot of damage, so... I guess I will try and finish him off with one of these. Oh, nice. I wasn't really that good, though. What's this? A wooden shield. Well, it's about time I found a shield in this game. Nothing else around here. Let's investigate this shield, then. Ah, so now... Instead of my gun... Like, that I can use to parry stuff, I just have... A rather weak shield, which... I use L2 to block. Which... Seems quite interesting. In... In practicality, I guess, but... I'm not so sure about it. I kind of like my gun anyway. It at least gives me some kind of ranged attack, and I can't see um, what the like physical defense on this thing is anyway. It doesn't really say. Yeah, hunters do not normally employ shields. Ineffectual against the strength of the beasts as they tend to be. Shields are nice, but not if they engender passivity. Um, yeah, what he said. I'll just go back to my gun then. I seem pretty alright with dodging anyway. Besides, it's a shotgun. Why wouldn't I have a shotgun? That big guy who is up here seems to be moving higher and higher up. And yet, he's not really paying attention to me. I'm not sure whether to be glad or afraid of that. And that axe doesn't look very nice. Okay, um, I want to see what's through that gate, but I don't think he's going to let me pass. Or will he? Nope. Right, let's see what his attacks are first. Yeah, that sweep's going to be a bit of a problem. That thing is huge. Maybe if I dodge into him while he's doing that. That works well. Alright, come on. I've got you now. Oh god. Back out. I very much doubt that I can even, like, get a chance to do a visceral attack on this guy since my charge strong attack before, didn't even stagger the guy who I tried to get a sneak attack on. Alright, I guess I'll just fight him the old fashioned way. Huzzah! Only a special emblem opens the main gate, which means I'm going to have to go back to the coffin door. Majestic. So, I've now gone down the big scary coffin door. Nothing too 
uh, prominent surrounding me, except for this one item, which is probably going to trigger something. Nope, it's just another one of those blood gemstones. What do these notes say? Um, okay then, I will keep that in mind if I can, in fact, see where I'm going. Oh, in fact, do I have a... Yes, I do have a torch. I completely forgot about that. Not really very... Whoa! Alright then. I guess I'm fighting then. Hmm. This guy seems tough. Let's just hope there's not more than one of him. Because my experience fighting more than one werewolves recently hasn't been too good. There we are. That was pretty easy, if I dare say so. Um, Alright, I really want to scour this area because I can only imagine in an area so dark there'll be a lot of places that they can hide items. And it doesn't look like it. Oh well, never hurts to check. Let's see what's down here. I appear to be going into some kind of basement. Is there... That looks like it will break if I do something. No, nope, perhaps not. Oh well. Down this ladder then. I don't like the fact that it puts my torch away because then I can't immediately see what's ahead of me. Okay, good. There's nothing. Let's go up the stairs first because I saw... Yeah, I saw that item. Antidote. I'm not really finding much use for antidotes, but I think I'll I'll equip them. Um, oh yeah, all my Molotovs are gone. I may as well put them there. Okay, and I've still got my fire paper, just in case I need it. In fact, I might use it for any bosses which I encounter, which I'm sure I will do. There's the checkpoint. Um, let me just do a quick scout of this area. I'm doing pretty well so far. I haven't died yet, which is really good. Nothing in here. It's just a little a little sort of crevice. I guess I'll go this way. Whatever's beyond here. This town is long abandoned. Hunters not wanted here. Um, I guess I'll open the door then. Old Yarnum. Well, this looks really jolly, doesn't it? Um, jeez. You there, Hunter? Didn't you see the warning? Turn back at once. Old Yarnum, burned and abandoned by men, is now home only to beasts. Where is that coming from? They are no harm. Turn back, for the Hunter will face the Hunter. 